Hey everybody, it's Yo Cup of Joe. If you're new to the channel, then you might not know that around here, we don't do videos for every Splatoon 2 patch, we only do them for the patches that affect the ballpoint splatling, okay? Because those are the patches that matter. To me. Okay, so what happened? Nintendo tried to nerf the best weapon in the game again. This time, they're coming after its painting efficiency. When using the long range firing mode, all ink that hits the ground will cover 8% less turf. The short range firing mode was left alone this time around. Thank goodness. The last time the ballpoint got nerfed, the short range firing mode was hit pretty hard. I'm still recovering from that. <laughs> Why, Nintendo? <laughs> okay, so luckily this time the change is pretty minor. Our range, damage, and mobility got left alone, which is all the weapon needs to be as strong as it is. The 8% paint reduction will impact the ballpoint's ability to suppress its long range targets. This is not good for the weapon, but it also was never one of its greatest strengths. The Heavy and Hydra Splatlings are the weapons which do an excellent job of suppressing targets. Those weapons have slightly less accuracy compared to the ballpoint, but that is actually what makes them great for supporting the team. The extra bit of randomness in their shots helps to cover more turf, and when attacking an enemy, it causes the target to be surrounded by ink. The Ballpoint Splatling is a weapon that focuses less on painting and supporting, and more on dealing damage and slaying. The nerf to the Ballpoint's long-range painting will make it weaker at turfing and suppressing targets, but those traits were already what you sacrificed by choosing the Ballpoint over the Heavy or the Hydra. Once again, Nintendo has taken action to keep the Ballpoint from getting out of control, but that's not going to stop me from seeing this weapon as a viable choice in every mode. So maybe they haven't nerfed it enough, or maybe the Ballpoint's core design is really that versatile. If you're wondering about the rest of the patch, it was all just a bunch of really minor nerfs to top tier weapons, nothing very game changing. Splash walls come out 5 frames faster, and I've seen a lot of people trying them out lately, but I don't think it's a part of the metagame that will stay, I just think people like to play anything that gets buffed right after a patch. The vanilla splat charger and splatter scope now earn their stingray special 10 points later, and the jet squelcher now paints better, so we might see the custom jet squelcher become a counter to those chargers on certain maps because the jet can get a stingray faster and counter the enemy charger's own stingrays. The final change I will mention is that the Booyah Bomb's armor durability was decreased by 6%. I think too many people just run from enemies charging Booyah Bombs. Hopefully this change will encourage more people to fight back and punish panic Booyah Bombs. That's it for the changes that I think will affect the game the most. I will post a link to the full patch notes in the description for anyone who wants to read every detail. Before I go, let me say that you guys have heard me talk about the Ballpoint Splatling a lot on this channel. Some of you even consider some of those talks to be guides for the Ballpoint Splatling. But trust me, you guys ain't seen nothing yet. I've been collecting information on how to properly use this weapon for months, and I'm getting close to completing my research. You guys better get ready for the ultimate Ballpoint Splatling Super Fresh Guide, coming soon. But not that soon, because I want this guide to be up to an even higher standard than usual. Make sure you're subscribed so that you can see that video as soon as it's uploaded. Also, don't forget to leave a rating or a comment so that I can know if I did a good job on this video. Thanks for watching, see you soon.